Welcome to today's video. We are going to be styling some spring outfits. Let's go. What's up, homies? It is your homegirl, Natalie. And literally, Albie is just laying down. The moment I start filming, he starts hearing my voice. He's like, okay, she's doing something. You want to be in it? Hello, everyone. For me and Albie. Oh, you're going to hold up. Albie, take. Hold, Albie. Oh, wait, other way. Albie, out. So anyway, wait, Albie. So anyways, welcome to today's video where I'm going to be showing you some spring outfits. Uh, thank you, Albie. I'm going to be showing you some spring outfits featuring your theme suggestions. I asked you over on Instagram for some outfit suggestions. <laughs> Alfie is just sitting on my clothes. Anyways, so yeah, so let's get started with the first one. Popular one, of course, you already know, is the spring picnic. Springtime comes, is picnic time. There are a couple different suggestions, like a forest fairy, picnic with friends, tea parties. Say something. Alfie, say something, please. <laughs> You got that right from the source. So for that one, all right. Oh God, do forest fairies wear cowboy boots? I'm not sure, but this one does, boom, boom. I feel like this is actually crooked, hold on. You're like, what about this is forest fairy? Hold up, hold up, girl, hear me out. <laughs> With forest fairy, I would suggest probably wearing a lot of green elements. They do have like green dresses I could have put on, but I want to be flowy and free. When it comes to picnics, you know, you're going to be on the flow, eating or drinking or whatever. So I want to be comfortable. That's like my number one thing. So having this is like, you know what I'm saying? You can do everything. When you're sitting down, you're not going to have your shoes on. So have cute socks, maybe find some like lacy little green ones ribbon ones something with bows i probably would wear green earrings as well or if not maybe gold i think what could also really take you to fairy kind of thing is definitely your makeup so something with a lot of golds and greens and browns of course you could be a fairy of any other color if you want to be i definitely could add in some more elements but i think this is a really good base the rest of this i will leave it up to you use your imagination accessories and everything is the thing that's going to help especially if you don't have a garment that like screams the theme that you're going for accessories is where it's going to help you and of course you'll make okay, so for the next outfit we're gonna do more of like a tea party style and immediately i was like oh i know the outfit i could have worn my pink tights and it would have gone with the scarf that i have here but i was thinking more of like mad hatter alice in wonderland kind of tea party i could add in a beret and now i think the look is completed i know i just had said like i want to be comfortable for like the picnic and everything and i'm literally wearing a corset that i made hey the corset good thing is that you can loosen it up after you eat for the tights I actually just got these off of Amazon a the last time I was in LA and let me tell you they're actually not tight on my stomach has like enough elastic to just like hold me but also not dig into my stomach I really need another pair of like strappy heels because I only have these black ones because I have wide feet I haven't been able to find any other ones that are like these I'm still on the search anyways this is my little tea party outfit I hope you like it all right for the next outfit we're gonna be doing spring wedding i got one question for this but i do have the perfect dress when it comes to spring weddings i'm gonna think of bright colors like flowers that is what i would want to wear to the wedding i actually just wore this yesterday i want something colorful i want i know something a little bit form-fitting because you don't know who you might meet at the wedding <laughs> This is a dress from The Lime by The K. It has sleeves on both sides, but I wanted it to look a little bit different. So I actually just tucked in the sleeve right here. And because there's already so many like folds on the dress anyways, it just looks like it was meant to be there. And if anything, I just put my hair. So don't be afraid to wear your clothes in the way that are not actually supposed to be worn because if you can manipulate it and have it work best for you that's all that matters this dress is so cute and it's also just something i don't really have a lot of in my wardrobe i actually tend to like things that are big voluminous and have layers but this is just a very different silhouette that you see in my wardrobe but it's always nice to pull out and be like see everybody i do got a body <laughs> We got the people asking back to school or a cute outfit for university classes. I'm gonna try to make like a casual cute outfit, but something that is definitely like a conversation starter. I was thinking like, maybe you should wear some sneakers, girl, but I'm like, I wouldn't. <laughs> That's just not me. I'm always gonna have a little bit of a heel. So like I said, conversation starter. So of course I'm wearing my LV t-shirt. I think just t-shirts are a really great way to convey your interests. Anyone who sees me is probably gonna be like, oh my God, that's so cute. Is that your dog? And be like, oh my God, yes, it is my dog. And I was showing pictures of LV and all that stuff. So it's easy to strike up a conversation. Now you could use this for like a band tee, maybe like YouTube merch. <laughs> okay. 
bebe. Estás inquieto. Added in a little bit more accessories because I just wanted to dress it up a little bit more because that is just me. If you're not like me, you could just take off the accessories so it becomes a little bit more casual. And that's the great thing with accessories. Trying to keep it really low key, you don't gotta add in all the extras. But if you wanna add in a little bit more pizzazz, level it up a little bit, add in some accessories, it's easy. And normally I think accessories are a lot more affordable than buying like more clothes. Now on the other hand, I wanna show you guys an outfit of if you wanna do like a dressed up look without looking like you tried all that much. Let's get into that outfit next. So this is my other little outfit for university. I would say this outfit looks more dressy than the last one because of the components, right? We got a nice printed pair of pants along with the black and the boots. If I had some kitten heels, I would definitely wear that. But also I think this would be a really cute outfit to transition into nighttime if you wanted to meet up with your, you know, girlfriends for some drinks and all that other stuff afterwards to be like, whoa, we made it through our first, oh wait, no, university. I don't know how old you are. But meet up with your friends for a little cafe or something like that. Our next outfit suggestion. It's quite interesting. We have some work appropriate, kind of conservative, but colorful spring outfits. We also have someone who asks, wearing a short skirt to work when you're not used to wearing skirts, but you want to look cute. I don't think work is an appropriate place to try it out. I think going out with friends is an appropriate place to try it out, just in case if you feel uncomfortable. I would hate to feel uncomfortable at work because I also don't know like your work environment, but if I felt uncomfortable in the outfit, that I'm wearing with my friends. At least I'm with my friends. So I don't feel like, oh, or I could tell them like, oh my God, I feel like this skirt is too short or there to like support you and help you. But I think at work, I would want to just go home if I feel uncomfortable, if I feel kind of weird. Try that out with your friends first. I would hate to feel uncomfortable at work. Oh God, that's, yeah, that's the worst. For this outfit, I am gonna wear a skirt, but if you maybe just wanna start wearing more skirts at work and maybe they're a little bit colorful, I got an outfit for you. Now this is my version of the office siren look. <laughs> But the colorful version, the colorful version. I mean, look at it. This looks cute, man. Green and blue color combination that you could never go wrong with. I added in, of course, my glasses. Oh, I'm really like living for this right now. I feel like I'm cosplaying as an office worker. I added in this top that I'm actually wearing backwards. I meant to like cut off the bottom. Now I'm a little bit on the fence if I should cut it or not, but I'm just gonna keep it like this because at least I could like tuck it in. So instead of a short skirt, we wore a midi asymmetrical skirt showing a little bit of skin a little bit of that ooh, that calf but not too much and i think this is maybe like a good way of seeing if you can wear skirts like maybe you know wear something a little bit longer then like a little bit higher and a little bit higher to get to where you want to be i guess the most important thing is just making sure that you are comfortable maybe if you're someone that's really not used to it going from zero to 100 might be a little bit scary i don't want you to put yourself in that situation where you feel uncomfortable at work. So I pushed back your 10 o'clock and now we're gonna have... <laughs> Kidding. So the next theme suggestion is concert music, festival outfits, or summer concert with your courage. Let's get one thing straight, okay? I don't know, I feel like I'm here to empower the girls and the gays and the days. Here's the thing, when it comes to dressing up for someone else, I'm always like, Wah! Like first and foremost, you need to dress up for yourself. If we were to think about, okay, summer concert with your crush, if I wear this outfit in mind of like the crush, right? I'm like, oh, he's really gonna like it. It, you know she's really gonna like it when I wear like something low cut or I wear something like super short or whatever it is right and then let's say you go to the concert and they're kind of like me you know not even looking or not even interested they're like why'd you wear that oh my god imagine I would feel like crap especially because this outfit is tailored towards them now if I'm wearing something that is tailored towards me which is you know the way that you should be doing it I really love this outfit I think it looks really cute so I think they should think it looks cute too then you know if whatever happens throughout the night we get some good results we get some bad results at least at the end of the day you were content with yourself you were happy with what you're wearing you felt good and i think that's the most important thing with that said i personally always want to rep whoever it is i'm really most excited to see so let me show you the look i don't know about y'all but when i think about festivals i think about cowboy boots it just goes one to one nowadays if i am gonna go to a concert i do have a seat so my ass is 
set. So it doesn't really matter what kind of shoes I wear anyways. I added in this cute little skirt. I mean, I think it would have been cuter if I had like a pleather skirt or something, but then it would have been hot. So maybe this is the better route. I added in this Nelson t-shirt. You might not believe it, but I actually didn't do all this embellishment. I got this at like a Flea Madonna sample cell. Obviously it's not Flea Madonna, but someone was probably like, hey, I made this random t-shirt. Let's see if we could sell it. And I bought it. Also, I think the cool thing that you can do with like a band tee, if you're kind of like, okay, the band tee is cute, but I needed something more, embellish it. Again, at the end of the day, it matters how you feel like in your outfit. If you think it looks cute, the other person should think it looks cute. If they think it looks dumb, then they're dumb. And definitely you need like some crazy hair if you're going to a concert. Cause I don't know if you're like me, but I'm definitely gonna be head banging or like my hair is gonna be like I need something that gives it a lot of volume. Bum, bum, bum. I'm definitely gonna regret that tomorrow. Oh my God, okay, so for our next scenario, we have oh, na na oh, oh, na 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 Oh, Hanami party, pastel floral, with cherry blossoms, un fondo de flores. Let me get my outfit on. I know I just wore these cowboy boots. They just work, okay? Is it cliche to wear flowers for like a floral thing? Sure, maybe, who cares though? Enjoy your time. This is kind of see-through though, so I definitely gotta wear some safety shorts. But for right now, since I'm in the comfort of my own home, poto al aire it is, but not really. I don't know, you just need a pair of good off-white cowboy boots. Like these just go with so many of my outfits, even though they're like on their last dying breath, but I have not thrown them out just because I know that they work for these kind of outfits. <laughs> I thrifted this dress a couple years ago in Million Archive. I wanna wear something floral and fun, and I can just imagine like sitting on grass and just having some like cherry blossom petals all around. Everybody can see the Instagram post. Of course, I added in my sister's crocheted earrings. Yes, you already know my sister, Abuafa LA. I added in the beret to showcase more of the purple and is a cute little addition to the look and that's it bam homies spring outfits for roller skating rink my whole thing is like i am going to be the prima donna what is that what it is the prima ballerina of the skating rink i want to make sure all eyes on me and i want to have a fun time this outfit is going to take a little bit of confidence but if you got it flown it you might ask yourself who in their right mind would be wearing this is a rolling rink skating rink that's me homie just imagine the lights are going down everything's going to just shine off of you i'm not the best like skater or anything Thing, but still this would be really fun especially if it was like my birthday just imagine just like and if you didn't already know this might be the first video you're watching of me i did make this outfit <laughs> for my birthday a couple years ago it would be cool if i could be like and then like but i can't but that's fine. In my fantasy, this is good enough. This is such a cute outfit theme suggestion. We have walking Albie, but make a fashion dog play day in the park matching outfits with Albie. Dude, I have the most perfect outfit for this. But I want to say, God, one day Albie will have a doggy play day in the park. Today is not that day. Tomorrow is not that day, probably. But one day he will. Catch! Yay! Hi, bye, Bobby. Hi, bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bye, bye. Abby, auntie, 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 auntie. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Abby, come here. Oh, okay, that sounds good too. So the brand Toby and Lioness sent this over to me. They have a matching sweater sets for all animal parents. This is everything that I wanted, like colorful and of course matching, <gasps> matching. So you already know the dealio when it comes with anything printed. It's so easy to make your outfits because literally all you have to do is base the rest of your outfit around the colors already here. Pick this color, boom, pick this color, boom. So of course I went with blue and orange. I, are they complimentary? But anyways, here's the thing. Those colors always look good together. I did add in some yellow, this cute pleated skirt. This is from Crest E Dim, and I did get some new tights while I was back in the States. Comes together so beautifully, and it's so much fun, and it's bright, and it's literally everything. Right, Albie? High five if you think so. Oh, thank you. Albie, do you like your sweater? <laughs> I think that's a yes. So Albie is wearing a size medium, but I will say, because Albie is a very, has very unique proportions, he's a supermodel. Bigger chest and then a tiny baby waist. Chest part is a little bit big on Albie. Run it through like a very hot wash and see if that shrinks. If not, I am gonna just sew maybe like some elastic and maybe make it a little bit like shearing, just in case when he does get a little bit bigger and when he gets a little bit smaller. Thank you again to Toby and Linus for sending this over. I'm so happy to be able to match with my dog. That's always my goal when I wanna 
to go out with Albie, you already know. Everyone would want to talk with us, which is kind of a bad thing because Albie can't talk with all those dogs. <laughs> but I'd be like, I know we're fashionable, but stop. Don't come closer. Yeah, okay, on to the next outfit. Another theme suggestion that was very big was just kind of like spring activities. So we have museum fits for IG, going to the farmer's market at noon, cafe hopping, cute little park fit. So for this one, I have two options. One is the all-in-one look, and the other one is something I think that would play better for the changing temperatures. So let me put that on. So this is like my all-in-one kind of outfit because you already know how much I love wearing this corduroy jumpsuit from and other stories. I mean, spring Springtime, it kind of depends like if you get like a hotter spring day or a cooler spring day, but I think this still works. That's why I also wore my green mules, which actually are dead. I can't actually wear them outside. Pretty messed up. I need to go try to see if I could find some replacement ones for this online. Girl, I hope and I pray because these are just my summer freaking shoes. I think for this, you could add in a little bit more layers. So let's say if it was a little bit more chilly, you could just add in a cardigan. If your spring day is a little bit hotter though, here's another outfit that I would wear. You already know the dress is coming back out. This is just my absolute dream dress of springtime, summertime. It's so comfortable, it's breathable. It's just perfect for the hotter weather because we're not in full summer yet. I added in some boots. If we were in summer, then you already know chanclas would be out, but the boots still add in a good layer of like warmth and stuff. I did add in also a leather jacket. Now this is something that if it's hotter during the day, you can just ugh, take it off and carry it with you along with your bag. I know that might be a little bit of a hassle, but no, just carrying a jacket I think is always a, a good thing to do because I don't want to be cold. And then I might get sick and then my plans are ruined for the week. So yeah, no. It says girls trip to Paris. I would freaking love a girl's trip to anywhere me and my friends all like flew somewhere that's like a goal of mine but my freaking friends need to have their available dates they need to be open <laughs> i think it just like is a great bonding experience this would be really fun to just have that experience with your girls it's so much fun exploring a new place together also we'll see if we remain friends at the end of it Ooh, no I'm kidding the other outfit suggestion says spring break trip but you have to get straight from the airport to dinner no time to change i think zero possible of this happening because there's always time to change and also just imagine going with your luggages to dinner I that would just be so bulky so I'm sure you gotta like drop your stuff off so what I would suggest also is just packing whatever outfit that you want to wear to dinner in your carry-on so that you could easily change into it when you're in the airplane go to your hotel room Airbnb whatever drop that shit off and go but I do have a little look that I think if I honestly couldn't go change nothing <coughs> This is what I would wear. All right, all right, all right. Can't go wrong with the slip dress. It's not gonna weigh a whole lot in your carry-on. And I added in this long scarf as well. And of course, some strappy heels. If let's say our spring break was in Paris, that's crazy, but imagine. I would wanna wear something like this, going to dinner time, you know, we just landed, have a little margarita or whatever it is that you wanna drink. You could definitely always change. I mean, I've changed in a taxi. Like I would be just wearing on the airplane, whatever is the most comfortable, some like nice, just like chanclas. And then once I'm in the car, car over to dinner switch over to my strappy heels like bada bing bada boom you're still comfy you know so you don't feel like oh you know after the airplane i don't know how far you have traveled manifesting girls trip girls trip this year please you hear that friends i want to go on a trip with y'all let me know if y'all are down dark color fits for the homies whose wardrobes are not all that bright and colorful well first off thanks for still watching my videos i hope i could still inspire you in some way even though you know you might not be all about wearing bright colors hopefully you will be because that's my goal <laughs> Oh, I whipped this up real quick, real quick. I mean, I do have some color in this, but my other option was just gonna wear a sweater vest on top of that. But I think I literally already wore that outfit when I showcased this skirt, which is not a problem either. But I was like, let me see if I could try to do something a little bit different. So I wore this long skirt that I thrifted recently and I have my platform mules. These are freaking great. So I wore a cardigan. I don't have anything underneath it. I literally just bind it up. And because it has this wide V-neck, I thought to wear it 
like kind of like an off the shoulder thing. I put my hair up. I added in a little neck scarf because I think just something was missing. I could switch out the mules for boots. That would be like a colder spring day, I would say. I also want to say that this outfit is so freaking comfortable. This feels great. When it comes to dark color fits, just adding, incorporating different shades of, you know, your browns, your black, your grays, I think is also a really cool way of wearing darker colors, but still have it be interesting. This is so funny. Okay, a bee sings you on your walk through the park, but at least you look cute. Okay, I'm gonna show you the outfit and then I'll explain my thinking. Okay, so I'm gonna say if I did get stung by a bee, it's probably because they thought I was a flower and my flower I was picking was a sunflower. So as I wore my yellow dress, have in some orange tights. If I had a yellow beret, I think that would have looked really cute, but I do have the brown and I think the brown goes with my boots. If I got stung by a bee, I guess this is what I'd be wearing because there's no way I would antagonize a bee, man. I'm like, ooh, please, I respect, I respect you. Please just get out of here. All right, homies, and that is it for the video. I shouldn't have done that. I'll be finished. No? Total. Bueno, anyways, you know what outfit I'm gonna change into to walk Albi to the dark outfits fit? Because that was so comfy, and I think the weather right now is perfect for that. So I'm gonna go test it out to see just how great this outfit is. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Of course, yes, there we go. There you go. Now you're coming, boo. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Thank you so much for your support. I hope to see you in the next one. I hope this video finds you well. Hope you are safe, and Albi and I We'll catch you in the next one. I know I already said that, but anyways, yeah. Abby, say bye. Abby, wave. Total. Abby, up. Good boy. Abby, wave. <laughs> Wait, hold it. We will catch you on the next one. Bye. Abby. Uh-uh. Hi, y'all.